Today we're going to be working on the electrical for the Alucab, specifically the solar panel portion. So for that, we picked up a bunch of stuff from Renogy Solar. I did a lot of research, or a decent amount of research, and this is going to be what fits my budget and what I'm needing for electrical in the Alucab. So that's why I went with these guys. They do have a ton of cool options. They have hard panels as well as flex panels. I went with flex just simply because they're thinner and they will fit the roof line of the Alucab a lot better than a hard mounted panel. And then on the ends, you have your power outlets here, positive and negative of the solar panels. These are a 100 watt solar panel. I have four of them to go across the top. I'm trying to achieve the most out of the electrical system that I can. We have four 100 watt solar panels going across the top of it. It will cover the entire roof, so that works good. And then we'll be running this or wiring it in parallel rather than series, simply because a lot of the spots that we camp at have a lot of shade. So if we run it in series and there's a shady part covering one of the panels, it'll affect all of them. Rather than if we wire it in parallel, it will only affect that one panel. So that's why we're going to wire these in parallel. And then for controlling all the solar panels, we're gonna be using Renogy's uh, solar controller. This is a 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller. This thing has a lot of cool features packed in it. Um, I can't name them all off, but if you do wanna check out any of the stuff that I'm showing right here, I'll have it all down in the description so you can go look at it, do your research, figure out what works good for what you are accomplishing. And then on the top of the Alu cab, they have an Anderson plug already uh, implemented in that thing for wiring up solar. So I got some Anderson plugs that we'll be using to wire up the solar panels to what is on the Alu cab already. This is just some wiring with the connectors that we'll use from running from the solar panels to the Anderson plug on the roof. Back to the solar charge controller, uh, some of the cool stuff that it comes with is it has a temp sensor that we'll be mounting up top that will monitor the temperature of the solar panels to make sure you don't have any overheating issues with those. And then this setup, I also end up getting it with the Bluetooth module. So this will plug into the solar charge controller and this is just a Bluetooth interface. So I'll be able to connect to the app on my phone and monitor all my solar needs with this Bluetooth module. And this will also play a big part in what I plan on doing for my monitoring system in the back of the Alucab. We're gonna need this later on. So this was a must. So we have the panel sitting on top of the Alucab here. I got them all squared up with the center of the roof. And then on the front ones here, I have a couple bags up here with weight on them just to hold that front one in place because all these back ones are lined up with the front one. Everything is looking square. So what we're gonna do now is hop up here and we'll move the bags and then mark the locations of these front holes with a Sharpie. We'll then remove it, drill it, and then we'll clean it up with some brake clean, make sure it's clean and silicone it and we'll drill this or we'll mount this first panel and screw it down to the roof. That way we don't have to worry about it moving since it lines up all these back panels.
Now that we have the panels installed on the top of the alley cab, we can move on to the wiring portion of this. So there's quite a bit going on here with there being four panels. We have the positive and negative of each panel. And the way I want to wire this is in parallel rather than series. That's because of the shading. We do a lot of camping uh, under trees and whatnot, so the shade will affect these quite a bit. You gotta keep that in mind with how you're gonna wire these panels. Doing it in parallel will affect it the least. That way, if you have shading on one of your solar panels, it will not affect the rest of them. Whereas if you wire it in series, it will affect it. So that's why I'm going with the parallel route as far as wiring. So to do that, we gotta attach all these panels together, basically just trickling down into a point. So I have these little Y adapters that we'll use for joining these panels together. I don't think I have enough of these, but we're gonna do what we can at the moment. And then this is just some power leads that we'll use at the end of it to join from the panel connectors to the Anderson plug that is on the back of this alley cab. So we have quite a bit of wiring to do here. We are gonna to try to run it all along the side of the alley cab because I would like to make a top cover that covers all the wiring. That way it just kind of cleans it up. But we can get to that later. For now, we're gonna lay this out and see what we got. So it's been a few days now since we got the solar panels mounted up on the alley cab and we had to hit a stopping point with that because the wiring wasn't going to work how I originally had planned or at least it would have worked but I wanted it to be a little bit cleaner. So instead of using those Y connectors to attach them all and just having a ton of wiring all along the top there, we are now going to be using these 4 to 1 connectors and I'm going to set them on this panel and mount them to that somewhat like that and then we'll trim this down. This will mount to the uh, trim piece that goes along the top that you would have like your load bars on. So we'll have these in place like that and then we got some added wiring and connectors so we can run wiring to these pieces. And then this bracket setup will sit there in the back right by where the uh, Anderson plug is up on top. All right, we got the solar panels finished up on top of the alley cab as well as the wiring. I just ran it along there and then I made this plate that attaches these connectors that do the four into one. And then those run over here to the Anderson plug that was already on the alley cab. From there, that runs down in the alley cab uh, by where the electric bolt comes out. All right, we are officially done with the solar panels, mounting them to the roof and doing the wiring. As you can see, I just ran the wiring along there, zip tied it up. And then I made this plate that these connectors, these four into one connectors attach to. Uh, you have your power and positive. From there, it runs over to this Anderson plug. And that is factory for the camper. That then runs down into the camper where all the wiring comes out. 
So for now this is gonna work, but in the future I might consider, or something I was wanting to do is add basically a garnish cover along the side here that would cover all this wiring and make it look a lot cleaner. But I don't wanna do that yet because I'm undecided if I wanna add some load bars up on top of this. So if I need to, I can haul stuff up on top, like a kayak or some boxes. So we're gonna do this for now. This is still fairly clean. I'm happy with how it turned out. So now that we have the solar panels mounted on the roof as well as the wiring done, the next step is gonna be mounting the solar charge controller in the alley cab itself. For now, we're gonna have to hold off on that and tackle that in a different video simply because there's a bunch of accessories and stuff that I'm adding still, and I wanna wait until those are all in place so I know a good location where I want to have basically a control panel setup, if you will. So we'll be tackling that in a later video, but other than that, make sure you stay tuned for the upcoming content on the alley cab. We got quite a bit left to do with the build. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.